The preservation of the developmental biology film series was made possible by generous contributions from Distinguished University Professor of Geosciences, Lynn Margulis Terence Malick Chelsea Green Publishing The Politics and Practice of Sustainable Living The Hardy Lane Foundation the International Symbiosis Society. Geobook Studio, publisher of The Biggest Picture. Hummingbird Films, producer of the documentary Symbiotic Earth. And supporters of the Lynn Margulis Archive at ScholarWorks. Mixed soundtrack. Here, muscle tissue is being isolated from the leg of an embryonic chick. From the isolated muscle tissue, a suspension of single cells is prepared by trypsinization, and individual cells are cultured. Two of the cell types normally present in muscle tissue can be identified in the cultures. Myoblasts are bipolar in shape and are approximately 50 micro long. Fibroblasts, on the other hand, appear broad and flat and are multipolar. The undulating finger-like projections are ruffled membranes. This is a small colony of myoblasts which are dividing, rounding up, before each mitosis. Since time-lapse photography has speeded up the action, mitosis appears to take place in a few seconds, although in real time it takes the better part of an hour. When both cell types are present, it's simple to tell them apart. Here, fibroblasts enter the field and invade the colony. As they move among the myoblasts, these flat, multipolar cells are easily distinguished, even though they continuously change shape. Two daughter cells are in the process of separating after the first mitotic division. The myoblasts continue to divide. Eventually, cell division becomes less frequent and the cells begin to align themselves in strands. Cells often break formation, however, and wander away. The cells will converge in this area and fuse. Watch these two cells. They've just fused to form a binuclear cell. The binuclear cell now fuses with a larger multinucleated fiber. Let's have another look at these fusions. Clusters of nuclei within a common cytoplasm show that fusion has occurred. 
In stain preparations, cross striations tell us that these multinucleated fibers are genuine muscle cells. A closer look with the electron microscope reveals that the cytoplasm is continuous around and between the nuclei in such clusters. As a result of these cell fusions, a colony is formed containing large numbers of multinucleated fibers. In cultures seeded with small numbers of single cells, many give rise to colonies containing multinucleated muscle fibers. The presence of such fibers gives these colonies their characteristic filamentous appearance. After a while, these fibers contract, just as they do in the living chick.